This is Sarah, and welcome to yet another exhilarating episode of Objectivity. This week we'll be looking at Captain America from the new movie, and he is a Marvel Select figure, new out, and this is the box he came in. On the front, there is nothing because it was a bubble-style package, and with the bubble came all the stickers, so when we took that off, all the fun stuff went away too. Although it does say at the top, ages 8 and up, although I'm not really sure why, because this figure, you can play with, I, I'd say a 5-year-old could play with this, 3-year-old if he took away his gun, because that's the only choking hazard, but I don't know, I don't make up the rules. Um, back of the box says, Captain America, the first Avenger, Captain America, has a picture of him, you can also get Red Skull. Avengers Assemble has a nice story in case you don't know who Captain America is. And this is official movie merchandise. Ooh. Okay. Now, this figure comes with his shield, a gun, and a random platform with a deadly, dangerous looking crazy object on it that might possibly attach to the Red Skull figure. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about it on the box, and I don't have the Red Skull figure yet. So, that is a mystery. But the Captain America figure, when he came out of the box, he was a little bit stiff. But we're after working with him. All of his joints are moving really well now, um, or at least a lot better. Um, his shield comes off of his arm, and it goes back on. Um, it's a little bit tricky, though, to get it to go on the way it what came in the box. You have to get it to slide up under his fingers there, which may be a little bit of a trick. Um, one thing I really like about this Captain America is that his index figure finger is separated from the rest of his fingers so his trigger finger goes where the trigger is look at that and so the gun actually stays nice and securely in his hand and won't fall out very easily very nice but then it also comes out easily when you want it to so nice and handy good looking figure like the coloration and everything Looks a lot like the guy from the movie, and he has a good face. Nothing crazy, strange, stupid about that. Um, articulation, he has a ton of articulation. His head moves all the way around, goes up and down. His shoulders move, they have a ball joint, and they also have that hi a hinge joint. Um, so... Ugh. That's, that's just a lot right there. Um, has a hinge at his elbow, and it makes it go back farther than you'd think a human arm could. I guess that's in case he gets injured when you're playing. That looks like that hurts. And then his wrist goes all the way around. Um, he twists at the torso, and actually he can go all the way around there. Um, he doesn't twist at the waist, which is surprising. Um, I would have figured he would. Um, but his legs are a little bit disappointing. They move a lot, but they're, it takes a lot of working if you have something in mind that you want him to do. So, for instance, I mean, his, his joint, his, his hip has two joints in it. There's a ball joint at the top, and then it twists at the lower portion of this ball joint. So, you can, you can move the leg and then you hold that there and then you twist the rest of the portion of the leg so if you get it out of whack it takes a while to get it back to the right spot so he doesn't look like he's you know, disfigured or something like that um, he bends both above and below the knee um, so I guess they did that to get more range out of that knee joint um, and then his ankle twists all the way around and it moves up and down actually. So, a lot of articulation. 
one big disappointment with the figure is that it looks like on the box that you're supposed to be able to put the shield on the left arm. Now, I don't know if the shield is too tight here or if the fist is too big, but no matter how I've tried, I can't get the fist to go through that second loop. So, which is a problem because if the shield can't go on that arm, then this is a figure that can either be holding a shield or a gun. One or the other. And that's kind of stupid. So, unless you just want the shield to kind of hang and, you know, possibly fall off. So, uh, negative marks for that. Until I figure out how to get that on there, if it's if it even goes on. Um, but otherwise, otherwise a good figure. Um, I have to I have to grade it down for the shield not going on right and the legs which are a pain because let's just say I want to get him to kneel down. Okay, step one. But then okay, there we go. It just doesn't necessarily move like you'd expect him to do. Or if you want his leg to go up behind him a bit, doesn't give you much range. Let's see. There we go. Got it with that side. There we go. See, I mean, it'll do the things you want him to do, but it's not very intuitive. And you just have to mess around with him a lot until he actually looks like you want him to look, at least with his legs. His, arm, his arms are a lot better and easier to handle. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and give him a 2.5. He looks good, but the two downsides I see to him are pretty major, at least for me. Um, shield not going on the other arm so he can carry both shield and a gun, that's bad. And his legs, um, I generally don't have the patience to, to mess with articulation that doesn't work right off. So, I would probably just try to put him in a generic standing pose and be done with them. Um, so, yeah, 2.5. Um, so if you want a figure that looks good, um, he's your guy. He looks great. But if you want somebody that you can play with or, you know, put in a really cool pose on your shelf, um, it works. He's very, he, he, like I said, he has a lot of articulation, but it takes some doing with his legs. So, this has been Sarah reviewing Captain America for Objectivity, and I will see you next time.